take flight. Let's go. Yo, what's up with you? What is up with me? What is not up with me? I don't know. I don't know. Don't really care. It's just a. It's just a general thing. <laughs> this is this is how you would have started already. You're just gonna fucking come in hard at me, hard because and raw. We just had to deal with some real fucking dumb, funny people a minute ago. The park is hot right now. Yeah, the park. The park is hot. <laughs> the park is definitely hot. Jake didn't like that. He shook his head. So, yeah. One of, <laughs> somebody I've known for a long time, man. Good guy. Funny guy. Something. He has some very uh, very stupid tattoos. Um, I really don't want to say because they're just real dumb. Not anything. Okay, I'll say it. He has a meth pipe tattooed on him. And yeah, it's boy. smoking. It's That's super dedication, funny. dedication, baby. That is dedication. Yeah. He's pretty much a, he's a lifetime member at this point. Yeah, that's dedication to the trash. Right but he's there. been sober for a couple of years, so that's good for him. Good for him. Maybe, it, maybe that's his. Uh, maybe that's how he remembers those times in his life. That's how he commemorates all his bad times. And uh, he's like, you know, I got this so that I know. Hashtag I never forget. I don't ever want to. Yeah, never. <laughs> oh. I don't ever want to be about that life again. Yeah, every week I think about the tweak. <laughs> I just just by the by the brief interaction I had with him, I, I don't think that there that there's that much thought that there was that much thought going into it. Hell no, that motherfucker no. don't have that much thought going into it. No. I'm surprised he even, like, made it here. I don't know. Didn't his girlfriend drive? Yeah, she's not any yeah. better. She might as well have a meth tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> she is the meth tattoo. <laughs> she, she, hey, baby, you're the meth to my pipe. Yeah, she is the meth tattoo. <coughs> no, they're good people. It's just, uh, if you can't take a joke and all that, you know who the fuck I am. Ha, <laughs> come on. Yeah. You thought the shit wasn't going to happen eventually? What shit? I'm talking to them. Oh. Whenever they listen. Oh, okay. Think the shit we're gonna happen? Oh, this is still like a hypothetical. This is a hypothetical. Okay. I, w- I was just unclear. Hypomethical. Oh, oh. Well, I'm thinking about it before I forget. Um, a friend of mine from out in Oregon, uh, shot me a text last night and was like, "I listened to the episode. It was really good." Oh shit! Yeah, she listened to it last night. I told you, dude. When uh, hold on, red red lion person. Fuck. Around them? Fuck no. Oh. No, 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 no. No, this uh, this young lady is a fucking scientist and shit. Well, oh, okay. But uh, <coughs> but yeah, when I told her about it, like she, you know, binged all the episodes and like told multiple people about it, and they listened to it and liked it, and oh wow, yeah. Well, if yours or this, this. Oh, nice. This has a good aesthetic to it. Yeah, yeah, my my personal one, it does not, you have to, you have to, I feel like you have to be in a certain mindset for that, you have to, you have to be at a certain level of, of mental illness. It's a constant bitterness. <laughs> it's, it's very bitter, <laughs> it's, it's very bitter, but, but there is sweetness, um, in, in the, uh, in the morsels that are those, those, uh, those hot J's, those yeah, hot it's, jokes. It's like dark chocolate, you know, it's sweet, but then it's also bitter, Yeah, you know? yeah, it's a, it's a. A Sour Patch Kid, basically. I didn't want to take it there. It was too generic, but yeah. First it's sour, then it's sweet. Yeah. We all know the fucking commercial. Do you? Yeah. Just like the... First of all, I'm going to let everybody here know. That Jake from State Farm shit is played out. Bro, you know what's really played out? What? Is you talking about this Jake from State Farm shit. It's played out. I'm sick of fucking hearing it. Yo, I don't talk about it, bro. You talk and about I, it all the time. I, you bring it up almost every time we hang out. Oh, fucking Jake from... And out of nowhere sometimes, too. Because... That, you know what? I'm actually getting a little upset because <laughs> every... It, it, I, I'm in public. I could just... I'm not... I introduce okay. myself almost every time. That, from Steve Hart. <laughs> where are your khakis? <laughs> Do they really say where are your khakis? Bro. 
That's not even a good follow yo, up to yo, an already bad joke. Yo, you, you're not you're not wearing khakis. Where are your khakis? And Jay, from State Farm, every fucking day, every fucking time I leave the crib, yo, get a new fucking joke. We all have the fucking TV. I know what my fucking name is. I know his fucking name. Shut the fuck up. You would think that people would remember the the red polo before they would remember the khakis. The motherfucker was sitting down. It's the khakis. That's why it make because that's what the joke is about in the commercial. Is it? She said, "Well, uh, what are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis." Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, khakis. She's like, "Well, he, uh, she says she sounds she sounds hit- hideous." Yeah. Well, she's a guy, so <laughs> yeah. So yeah, <laughs> it really is a fucking. Lit ass commercial, dude. Oh, fuck you, dude. That commercial, no, that commercial, fuck. That dude is super. That 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 whole. Yeah, well, I mean, he's a guy, so. No, the commercial. Like, that dude is funny. I'm not. I will not be on record saying anything about the commercial. Look, okay. Look, anything if good? It you, if it makes you feel any better, Jake, Jake himself from State Farm, can go suck a fuck. That dude sucks. He's not even a good actor. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Trevor, I think is what probably what his name is. Probably what his name is. He sucks. Fuck Trevor. Trevor sucks. Ethan Tremblay. Fucking loser. All right, anyway, not the point. I don't like it. Not a fan of it. Don't ever do it to me. Because if, if you do that right off the dribble, you already knocked down a peg. You were at zero, now you're negative one. <laughs> okay? Damn. Yeah, I mean, that's just... That's just... Every time. That's just how I feel. What, my phone? Yeah, p- start putting it between your legs. It's the most unprofessional thing about me. I know. Oh well, no, it's definitely not the most unprofessional thing about you. Uh, it's it's Let's going to vibrate. Start with your just general appearance. Oh, right now I'm wearing a uh, it's like a a, a purple he, he, macho he, man Randy Savage he shirt. He looks like the dude fucked a beach bum. And I'm wearing some basketball shorts like aliens and UFOs, and I'm wearing my house shoes. And you know, I'm I'm just pretty chill for the most part. Once again, we have a gay lumberjack in the studio. Hey, dude, this is my uniform. Yeah, it's it's fucking this a plaid. My, this is my uniform. Some sort of uh, generic horror movie t-shirt. No, this is not generic. Uh, this is not fucking generic. <laughs> He's offended. This is a uh, wonderful, it's a drag me to hell shirt. So all my horror horror fans out there, it's a sick drag me to hell shirt. Yeah, I mean, you, shout, you, out, shout out Sam Raimi. Every time I talk to you, you drag me to hell. Just by talking I fucking, to you. I wish I could, <laughs> and I'm going to. <laughs> At a certain point, I'm I'm gonna come back in spirit form, and I will fucking take your soul. Just kill me right you now. God, okay. you better hope I don't fucking die before you, dude. I'm gonna ruin everything. Kill me right now, dude. I got a fucking bill coming up. I don't want to pay. Kill me right now. How how big could that bill be? Well, brother. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's not big. But yeah, I mean, he's wearing his attire, boots. Uh, jeans with uh, I'm wearing slip ons. Thank you. T- <laughs> okay. He owns slip ons and boots. Yep. And then he has jeans with either one or two rolls on the cuff in the bottom. How many? Also have house shoes. Yeah. Two per. <laughs> two per. Yeah. But no. Um, we just had a nice, over like overwhelming little visit. Where people were just screaming and doing dumb shit, and then uh, generally, I woke up. Sorry, I'm I'm no, 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 I'm no. genre I'm not genre hopping, topic hopping again. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah, you, you gotta stay quick. You gotta stay on your toes with me, I okay? Guess. So this morning, I woke up about midnight. I had went to sleep about six or seven. I woke up at midnight to. Uh... Okay. Okay. I woke up to my cat puking on my feet. <laughs> my cat. <laughs> Alright, he's just going <laughs> to snore in the microphone. <laughs> he won't say anything, but he'll just snore in the microphone. I love it. I mean, it's the only entertaining part of your story. What do you want me to do about that? Did you have a cat throw up on your feet today? Uh, no. I guess he didn't throw up directly on it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily there. consider that an uh, an accolade of the day either. I wouldn't. Uh, it's the best thing to happen to me today. <laughs> That's seeing you today sense. is worse than getting my feet thrown up on. Yeah, I accept that. Well, at least as long as you know it. I accept I don't, it. Uh, Jake's in rare form. Uh, I don't like anybody. I don't like you. Um, I don't like 
she they i don't like him i don't like you i don't like my mother but when does this when does this rare form become clever when does that happen mm. yeah i guess it never does buddy <laughs> hey dude we got nothing we got we got time so we'll find out you know what i mean oh okay. don't fucking start again don't start again <laughs> Hey, the State Fair, genuine. Color me bad. Dude, I know. Kind of lit. Color me bad. You know how fucking wet my pussy's gonna get when they play "I Wanna Sex You Up." Oh no. Oh, also, uh, I don't. I don't know if it was. I think it was in one of the one of the recordings that turned out badly. But um, I said that the dude, the lead singer of "Color Me Bad," was dead. He's mm-hmm. not. He's very much alive. Okay. I just looked at his Twitter yesterday. Uh, it was not very entertaining. I mean, uh, he's still fat. I'm sure they haven't done anything for 40 years, so nah, like 30 been, years. Nah, it's not been 30 years. Well, 25, 20 and some change. At, oh, at the very they haven't least. been relevant. Clo- well, I guess I could give you 30. You're close enough to 30. Yeah, man. Yo, everybody, if you're uh, if you're listening, definitely go follow the Instagram and stuff. Uh, that's where we put a lot of this stuff. So you definitely want to check that out. Small clips, reels, things like that. We're about to start some stuff up on YouTube. Um, you can shoot us an email and let us know what's your preferred way of listening. <clears throat> if we're missing anything, I guess you won't be hearing this. So, <laughs> you guess you can't. You can. <laughs> if there's a platform that we're not on, I guess you wouldn't know. Because you can't hear us. I mean, we're on the major ones. Mm-hmm. The the most major ones, I think, now especially are Spotify and Apple. Is this thing on Apple Music? It's on Apple Podcasts, but yeah. Oh, but I think the only I think it's we're not on Stitcher, which is a kind of a major one. That's okay. No, that's the one that I was having RSS feed issues with. Okay. Uh, so I can't. I was trying to submit our shit to Stitcher to be on Stitcher. Oh. Okay. Um, but I could never get past that point. Huh. Stitcher, get your shit together. Yeah. I think, I don't, other than that, I think there there might be like a couple of other ones, but those are the main ones. Yo, what happened this morning at your oil change situation? I don't want to talk about that. Oh, wow. They. It was annoying. I sat there for 45 minutes. It, it should have been a less than 15 minute oil change that took 45 minutes. They. They fucked this man around hardcore. It was core. a bunch of fucking... It was all these goddamn grease monkeys. And there, the thing about it is, is there was like four fucking five mechanics there. Old guys, young guys. Young, younger. Younger. Um, they had one there that you could tell was the superior, but the dude could have been you know easily in his mid-30s. Okay. Um, but... So there's so many of them. And... There would be, like, two or three of them all looking at the same fucking car, and I'm sitting there just staring at them. <laughs> like, yo, dickhead. And, like, I'm, like, and at a certain point, like, I'm watching this bitch throwing on gloves, digging in her ass and shit, like, and I'm just, like, come on. I've already, At this point, I've already been sitting there for fucking close to half an there hour. There was a girl working there, too? Yeah. Oh. So, at this Word. point, I've been sitting there almost uh, about a half an hour. I'm just, I'm annoyed. That's a half an hour in the, like, in the actual garage itself. Yeah, because I called you, and he and he says he's going to be here in about an hour. Hour and a half goes by. I'm calling this dude fucking back. He's he still, calls me, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, like, are you good, bro? <laughs> no, it wasn't, are you good, bro? It was, are you okay? It yeah. was. You sounded very, very worried. Yeah, Um. not about you. I just had stuff to do. I want to keep my schedule rolling. No, you're worried about me. No. Nope, nope, nope. Mm, it was not what your voice told me. No, I was just, I was a little high. I was, I mean, just don't. You were, don't take that you were little. highly concerned, is what you were. I was highly concerned about the rest of my day. You were highly <laughs> concerned about my well being, and that's okay. Truth is, I have nothing else to do that's after this. Okay. Oh, I already know. <coughs> I'm sure you'll play your video games and things of that nature, but. Yeah, if you like playing video games or watching them, follow me on Twitch. Yeah. Jake Two Baked TV. Jake the Number Two Baked TV. That's baked with a that's baked past tense. Yeah, baked past tense. Yeah, thank you. That's yeah, some people well, because it yeah. all because what I think once you've said it for so long, when you say it out loud, it all kind of runs together. So yeah. it all kinds of set, and it's not like you're. It's not you can still make it out, but there are some people that that 
you know, there are, there are there are a lot of people that you're going to encounter from day to day that are working with a third grade reading level at best. Yeah, yeah. I so, know. you know, j- you know, it's not I much have, different than having to specify. I what actually, it's the number two. Fi- sorry for cutting you off. Oh, no, you're fine. I found one in my ch- my chat. You know, if you go in my chat and you do exclamation point Activision, it'll bring up my uh, Call of Duty name. We could play together, whatever, if you want. Um, sometimes. Like it'll load that in the chat. Yeah, it'll, yeah. Oh, it's word. a command. Oh, sick. you set them up and yeah. Word. Um, just like exclamation point donate, exclamation point tip, exclamation point. Mm. You know, whatever. But like, yo, this dude spelled Activision like A A A C T I V Z N, and I was like, yo, what the? F- is this guy he, for real? He spelled it phonetically. He spelled it, it the way it sounded. That's not how it's spelled. He, I was like, dude, are you serious? Um. That's funny. That actually makes a, your tweets. <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> your tweets make a lot more sense to me now. Oh yeah, because it because it, it would be like exclamation Discord. Yeah, it's, I'm just like I'm just like what the fuck does that even mean? That means I know what Discord is, but yeah. I was like why why is what's with all the, like the misplaced <laughs> exclamation? I was, like, I, was like, <laughs> I was like I know this Idiot. dude is not such a fucking bonehead that he doesn't know that the exclamation goes at the end. Yeah. Um. So that's okay. That makes some more sense now. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I, I mean, I don't. That it does nothing for me other than I'm just I'm just glad that I know that now. Thank you for liking my tweets about that stuff and retweeting them and stuff. Hey man, I appreciate what are, it. What are friends for? You That's know? the only successful thing in my life. That's so. what friends are for. Keep smiling, keep shining. No, then you can always count on me. I love it for sure. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I can count on you. Yeah, one time when I was in California, this man really helped me out. I'm a dependable guy. It's it's one of the things that I, um, it it's it, I feel as one of my better qualities. Definitely, that's yeah. why I called you when you were 30 minutes late. I was like, Yo, what the fuck, Are you okay? Yeah, because yeah. you're usually on time. Well, I'm usually on time ish. If I know that I don't absolutely have to be there on time, if I know that I have to be somewhere on the fucking dot on time, it'll be 10 minutes I'm, early. I'm 10 to 15 minutes early. Um. But if it's if it's a sort of loose thing, and I know that I that I can get away with ten or fifteen minutes, you know, I know that I have a window. Sure, you'll finish your podcast yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, or I'll like go and I'll run and grab a pack of cigarettes real quick, or grab some wraps, or yeah. grab a grab a quick bite to eat or something. I'm not always there when you come, but I'm always on time. time. Yeah, dude. I gave you my own. Ooh. Oh, baby, be mine. Baby, baby, murder. You never thought you'd tell later. Wow. You want to see a real big drop off? Talk about Dra- Ja Rule, man. He had a real bad ecstasy problem, apparently. I feel like our drop off, I feel like our drop off is going to come in listens because I feel like as soon as I did the Ja Rule, everybody just turned the fucking show off. They were like, all right, I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm fucking done with this. Well, I fucking just, can't stand this guy. Just so happens that we're a little bit old. And I remember when Ja Rule was like the hottest thing smoking. Oh, yeah. He was everywhere. Yeah. Don't forget, Ja Rule is on top of the fucking world for a second. I mean, he has fucking Jay-Z for the most part to thank for that because it, it was that, that song he did with Jay-Z. Uh, I can't remember the name of the song. Um, I, um, is it Big Pimpin'? No. No, no, no. It's, I can't even think of Can I get a what? Yes, what? Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. I mean, na 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 no, 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 Hit me up on Instagram. Is there any Can segments I hit you want? It in the morning. Man. If I'm no. giving you half of my dough, and even birth survivors broke, would you want me? <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't a ten figure jigger. Dude, I thought about it. I was just like, do I want to do it? And then I just I said, yeah. I said, yeah, yeah I'm gonna do it. I pulled the trigger. I, I, said, I just pulled it, it, dude. I didn't. I just didn't even think about it. I just fucking pulled it. You yanked it. Yeah, man. But I'm having. A, I'm. You know, I have a ball just sitting here bullshitting with you sometimes. Sometimes it takes us a minute to get started up, you know? Yeah. You gotta get lubed up first before that's it really the, uh, slides. That's what the edit button's for, you know? That's right. Our in-house editor here, Greasy Peasy. You know it. A.K.A. Hyperbolic. A.K.A. Fuck me two times. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Not just once. Do me twice. Mm. Do me in the morning. Do me in the morning. 
they, man, uh, never mind. I'm I'm deep cutting on I'm deep cutting. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but me and this guy like music, and we like older music too. We know a lot of the same bullshit. Oh, dude, I get a little weed in me. You know, I get I get I get a little singy. Yeah, me too. You know? Get a little happy. Yeah, I get happy. Yeah. But, you know, and if I don't do that, I just gonna make fun of you somehow, and then you'll come up with a way smarter way to make fun of me, <laughs> and that I halfway don't even get. And then I'm just like, yeah, whatever, dude. It's it's quite liter. It's all in it's all in the vocabulary. Yeah, if yeah. you use larger words, it's automatically it's you, especially if you. Well, I'm not gonna say. You also have to have conviction. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to be saying them as if you didn't as if they're not on your word of the day calendar. Instead of saying I'm gonna smack that bitch, you can say. I will strike that whore. <laughs> no, no, I'm not even mean like that. That's that's like that's like uh that's like that fucking it's like a meme. Yeah. Where it where it like gets all like old that that's like old timey speak. No. Yeah. No no no. no. You know, no. I, I know exactly what you're saying yeah. though. I do. It just be a, just well just like instead of being like, uh yeah, well you're a fucking idiot, you'd be like you call them you you make it worse. You call them crow magnon. Okay. You know what I mean? Or you call them troglodytes. Yeah. Or you just make them seem like the like the m the first and foremost f like beginnings, the filth of humans. A caveman esque yeah. character. Yeah. Like you are so underdeveloped. You are evolutionarily underdeveloped. Yeah. Idiocracy type things. Yeah. It's like you're. <sighs> yeah. You may as well be fucking smacking rocks together trying to start a fire. Yeah. Can we can we talk about how good of a movie Idiocracy is? Honestly, I've I think I've literally seen it twice. You should go watch it twice, ne like tomorrow. Twice more. Twice, like twice more. You why really not, should. Why not thrice? Thrice, yeah, good band. Anyway, not the point. Not a good band. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, that's just my opinion. No, not no. I just I I don't know one song by them. Don't know shit. Honestly, I couldn't name you a single one. Yeah, it's like no. that. It's like that. Uh, they're in that era with like Silverstein and Under Oath and like that whole area. Yeah. I couldn't really get behind. Yeah. I, Under well, Oath I, had a couple good ones, that's about it. I listened well, I listened to Under Oath before they turned into what they turned into. Yeah. Uh like their first like their first couple of albums with their old singer. Um their they, early stuff. Yeah, their, I mean literally, literally their early stuff. Because it was a completely different sound. Do like you, a like it they did a fucking one eighty. Do you want me to explain? I mean, I don't. I could, couldn't really tell you about metal per se, but do you want to know why? In hip hop, the first three or four or five albums are so good. Why's that? Because it's before they're on a deadline for the record companies to push out this many albums a year. So those first three or four or five albums they have are from when they were really struggling, really in the shit and yeah. doing this. It really comes from the heart. Yeah. But then, you know, once record companies need them to make fucking a uh, hot single every three fucking months, you can't put that much thought into it. You, yeah, you run out of shit you, to say. You don't live that much in three months to fucking, especially if you're not grinding I mean, and hustling. Are, I guess you are if you're doing it, right? But. I, no, 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 you are, but what are, they, are they going on vacation? They're doing dumb shit? They're not out here fucking doing what, you know what I mean? Right. Makes sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's what it is. That's why music is unoriginal after the first, like, few albums. Well, I mean, for them specifically, well, that wasn't the case. It was just they switched, they just completely switched the sound around. It's just not a sound that I was into. I understand. Because I, they went I, over to that to that side of like the Silverstein-esque bullshit. Mm -hmm. And it's just not my, it's not my thing. Even I, though I've seen Silverstein live. I'm just generally speaking, but yeah. Yeah. I got you. You're just puffing away on that motherfucker. It's about done, Ski. It is done ski. I just fucking stamped it. It's not that good a bud either. It's terrible. Yeah. I cannot, I, yeah, I cannot wait to be rid of this forever. Usually we talk about, man, this bud's good. This is some tasty weeds. Yeah. Today is uh, not, not the that, case. It's not that day. No. Today is not that day. I'm definitely relying this on is, the dabs. This is different, actually. Oh, is it? Rub that in my face, why don't you? What is this? It's Royal Highness, I think. Royal it's Highness. not much better, though. I mean, I don't. Do you taste the difference at all? Really? I do. You can keep it. Oh. Take it home. <laughs> do what you want I'm with gonna, the kid. I'm going to finish it. Go ahead, Chief. Do. As any Kravitz would sport. say. Sport. Go ahead, Chief. All right, sport. I actually uh, popped by his Twitch stream the other day. Such a nice guy. Yeah, and he from uh, your mom's house. Awesome, dude. Yeah, he's, the, I think, the technical director. 
Yes, she is. Yeah, it, no, I mean, you know, no big deal. <laughs> I want to meet. I want to meet the other guy, Navad. Uh, Nadav. Nadav. Navad. Dude, I just switched around. Nadav, Nadav is so funny. I know. He's uh, he's like low key fucking funny, dude. He's so funny, but he's also so fucking goofy. And it, I think it's hilarious that he is a Jew that hates Jews. It's yeah, it's, the whole Jewish thing with him is hilarious. It's so funny. And I've known about your mom's house for a long time, but uh, just recently, like within the past year, I actually started watching it on and off. But in the past three months, I've been watching it. Her, yeah, a little bit before any, any and then and then when any came by, I was like, man, fuck, I guess I'm gonna have to watch some more of your mom's house because I was kind of getting burned out on the other podcast I was watching because you just. I've seen every single Kill Tony. I've seen every single Basement Yards. Every single Bad Friends. Yeah. I don't know if you see a reoccurring thing here, but I like comedy podcast. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm really glad. Your mom's house is hilarious. I usually do. You actually start from the very beginning of of a of a podcast like series. No. Okay. No. Nah. I'll normally go. I'll normally go back a hundred episodes. And like, if say if they ha- if they have like two hundred and fifty episodes, I'll go back to one fifty. I, or I'll go back a year. I'm about to do something like that because uh, the fart mic and stuff. Yeah. What fart mic? Do we have? Are we getting a fart mic? No, but like your mom's house and stuff. Like I, I don't know. I don't know that much about the fart mic. So, but oh, they did mention it today. Yeah, they just talked about it yeah. with the one with yeah. Nate Bargatze. You yeah. watched it already? Yeah, I watched it. Already. I oh, well, good. I I, uh, I subscribe to their to them on Patreon, so I get I get their episodes early and ad free. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you subscribe to me? To whom? On Twitch. No. God, what a fucking piece of Ye- fucking... I mean, hey, do you have Amazon Prime? Yes, I do. Oh, you can subscribe to me for free with it if you link them. Thank you. Oh. And it and it literally costs you nothing because they're partners, and it helps me out like a lot. Kay. Thank you so much. Fuck yeah, we'll do that after the show. Sure. You're not leaving without doing that, so just... I- I'm sure I won't. Buckle up, partner. I want you guys to know, uh, you can't see it, but he literally just... Uh, he pointed a... He pointed... He pulled... His shirt up, and he pointed at the butt of a gun that's sticking out of the top of his little space shorts. Mm-hmm. And uh, and he just you, but what all you heard was him uh, threaten me. He showed me the gun. Yeah, that's he keeps pushing for a camera, and this is why we can't do it because yeah, I do small things like that. Starts pulling out weapons and acting a fool. He's basically a gunpoint the whole show. Pretty much. Um, right now he's digging at his cuticles and dropping yeah. it on the ground. <laughs> I don't hey, know. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on. This is how I rebel. <laughs> this is how I rebel. This is how I get back at the at at you. You know. Yeah. Stick it to the man. Not well, me, you bro. know. I mean, if if all if all you get out of holding a gun on me is me throwing some dead <laughs> skin on your floor, then I, mean, I, I feel like you get off pretty lightly. I feel like I'm really the one at risk here. Yeah, it's I'm, not. I'm getting, I'm getting the shit into this deal. So. So you one of these days you just need to let me like fucking super soaker Red Bull right into your butt. Uh, I'm drinking a twenty ounce Red Bull, you guys. Yo. Yes, you can. When we yo, when we finally start the Patreon and we get to a certain number of subscribers, that feels spicy. Can, can, can I can I super soak Red Bull at your at your asshole? Add it. Add it. Or in it. Like you, add, well, I, if add it, but if, if there's enough, if I get enough pressure behind it, hopefully it goes in it. Here's the deal. Here's the thing. Um, th- uh, <laughs> a little Red Bull colonic. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm not trying to show my asshole on Patreon, first of all, because nobody wants to see that. But if the camera is facing me and you're behind, and maybe possibly, it's a little th- uh, Red Bull enema. You know, this is very sus. No, <laughs> I, I mean it's it's actually very very cut and dry. Like we hit say we when we, if we hit five thousand subscribers. I'll tell you what's not we dry. do we do a video of you you pull your ass out mm-hmm. you can keep your nuts and Did your you dick. say five thousand yeah oh okay because you know the basement yard only has like eight or ten right so when we get a hundred <laughs> when we get to a hundred when, when, when we get to 25 subscribers uh yeah you'll have to like pull your ass out and and let me super soaker spray red bull into your into your butt we'll figure it out I mean, I like this idea. Red Bull. What's up with the sponsor? I'm about to give your asshole wings, brother. <laughs> Let's do this. It's going to fly onto some dicks. You'll be in heaven, won't you? <laughs> won't you? <ya? laughs> 
You can see. You can look. You can see the pearly gates now. Yeah, <laughs> pearly gates. The brown gates mm-hmm. up there with Freddie Mercury just riding mustaches, being champions. Fucking loving it, yeah, dude. Those yeah. porcelain gates. Fucking loving it, dude. What is that? I don't know. What was that? I'm not sure. You just went with it. It's there. Just going for it. It's there. It it's is. The it is there. People don't forget. So I am someone just, just remember that. I, I, I could be a pretty good beach bum, except I don't really want to drink. Scratch that. I hate the sand all up in my ass crack, my eyes, my food. I mean, I feel like there are ways around that. No. You eat, a, you eat away from the fucking beach. Bro, whenever you're anywhere near a fucking beach, sand is everywhere. I am from the beach, you So bitch. am I. So you should know. But I never had this issue, so what the fuck are you doing wrong? Apparently everything. <laughs> Apparently every fucking thing. <laughs> Do you, I mean, for instance, do you wash yourself off before you like, before you leave the beach? Do you go to the fucking? What is this? You the, speak. You, you go to wash. The, you go to the fucking shower and you shower all the sand and shit off of you. Shower. Yeah, what is that? that and, and that's why your shit gets shower. consumed with fucking sand. Google. <laughs> no. Um. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's just that's sand a no. everywhere, that's a, that's bro. A, that's a no. That's a no, and that's why there's sand everywhere because you're not fucking spraying it off yourself before you leave. No, I do. Do you? I really do, bro. They have the free little you things. Now. You have to hit now the button. That you, now that you feel weird about it, you do. <laughs> I don't feel weird. It, the only weird thing, the all, the people always ask, why do you get naked at those things? But I just. I mean, that's, well, I know that's not a thing. Those <laughs> things are wide, wide the fuck open. <laughs> and they're free. Did you just say something about paying for it? No. Did no. I? I feel like I I, I may have mis, uh, misunder, misheard. I don't know. I, there's usually a dude sitting behind him with a beer. That's the guy you pay, right? No, you don't have to. Those are free. It's literally oh. just it's literally just a fucking sprinkler system. So the Rocky, that's not the guy Rocky, with the beer. Rocky's not the guy. That was a homeless man. Oh fuck. <clears throat> did you get, okay. Did you get ripped off? Yeah. How much? Just money? twice. How much money? Just twice in one week. How much money is that now? I thought they were five dollars a piece. So you're out ten. I'm out ten. You're ten in the hole. Rocky, you got you, me. Because you, you're fucking Rocky. Dude. Rocky just got a big rock of fucking crack on me. Yeah, dude, on you, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking coming for you, Rocky. I swear to fucking God, dude. Rocky ain't here in this, I swear to fuck. Rocky ain't here in this. He had a radio. We're not on the fucking radio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I highly doubt I don't think a, I don't think a physical internet radio exists, so. <laughs> I guess it would be actually like XM or something. <laughs> actually, now that I think about it, it would be like XM. Yeah. Rocky, watch your ass. Mm-hmm. Hey, and if there's another, if there's a Rocky at your public uh, free shower by the beach access thing, just don't give him any money. You should have kicked that fucking bum in the face. Kick him square in his fucking teeth. Whatever, whatever teeth are left, I want you to knock him out with the sole of your shoe. Uh, and, and when he, yeah. and when he's like, and when he asks why, you look at him and you fucking point right at his face. And you go, you know why? You know why, Rocky? You fucking know why? How was that crack, Rocky? Don't you don't even have to say all that. You just look at him and you say, you know why? Yeah. <laughs> And then you stare, and then you make you make consistent eye contact. You you have to make very intense eye contact for all for a good five seconds, so that he knows. Yeah, that's like the set in. So, but like, it's, it's got to be intense. Like, look at my face. So, like, I'm gonna go through the you I'm know. gonna go through the whole thing. So you so you so you you play Rocky like, and I just kicked you. I just fucking kicked you square in the teeth. Oh, uh, what am I going? Oh God. He asks the question. <laughs> Why'd you do that? You know why. What? Dude? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, and, now, and now you know it's real. <laughs> Super real. Now you know it's real. That's how you know that <laughs> I mean fucking bi- It wasn't the kick in the teeth that that made you know that I meant business. Not gonna lie, I was it's legit. It's the stare. I was legit intimidated for a second. Yeah, dude. Mm. As you should be, because I will kick somebody square in the teeth. Coincidentally, you're wearing Rocky boots when you kick him in the face. <laughs> it's a Rocky boot. It's a brand, the cheap brand of boots. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Sorry you didn't pick up on Rocky boots. <laughs> sorry that, uh, I'm sorry you're poor. Uh, why did you make that face after I give you that, uh, you, know, you don't like the taste of that either? Um. We got a schnob. It, I, I yeah. Maybe it's just not, uh, yeah, it was okay. It was okay, but it went out, and I'm, I'm really, I'm just fucking tired of relighting it. I feel that, 100%. That's the that's one. That's what it comes down to. 
please, please don't. I'm not pulling out food. Okay. Not this time. I was like, please don't. Not this time. Just, just agua. Yo, dude, who's got uh, the fucking, the shot blicky out yeah, here? Yeah, dude, dude, there's some loud Jesus. noises going on outside. I don't know what it is. It sounds like a 12-gauge shot blicky. Yeah, I don't know. Well, what the f- <laughs> shot blicky? <laughs> You guys were wondering before the episode. I was listening to a rapper called Twenty Two G's, Two Two G's from Brooklyn. This motherfucker has been listening to nothing but Brooklyn. What is it? Brooklyn drill. Drill. Yeah. Blicky to blicky to blicky to blicky to blicky to blicky to blicky. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, it's really good actually. Uh, Twenty Two G's. He's, I mean, so I, I mean, if I you like think it. about it, I'm not far off. If you think about it, because they're calling a gun a blicky. No, you're right. You're and right. And you know, shotgun. Yeah. Shot blicky. I completely understood I, I, what the I fuck you did. I saw it off shot, Blakey. It's just you. <laughs> uh, oh, there was a dude, bro. What? There was a dude, like, last night, a couple nights ago, whatever, he Why, he, dog? he got into s- some argument in O'Shea's, left, and then came back with, like, an AR and was about to shoot the place up. Ah, yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah. So, this is why I he don't said, really go to He said, bitch, I might shoot the club up. <laughs> yeah, he didn't, sh- yeah. Yeah, it was like an AR with like a very short barrel, so oh, it was considered no. a pistol. Oh shit! Yeah, he has one of those converted, mm-hmm. one of those conversion. That's, yeah, dude. That's fucked up. It's strange. What does it? Would it? Sh- but it would shoot like rapidly. I mean, semi off or three round burst, I guess. Oh fuck! Maybe that dog. I don't know. I don't think ARs are three round. I think there's. I think they're. Oh, the, I, I was just thinking about the army shit. No, I guess. Um, I was, yeah, um, I guess it's semi-auto. I don't know, what is it? Anyway. Either way, that's fucking scary. I don't ever, I, I don't ever, I don't care what the fuck kind of, I don't want to be in a building with a motherfucker carrying a gun with bad intentions of any kind. I don't care what kind, I don't care if it's a fucking World War Two pistol. Yeah, I'm not trying to, well, I'm If not it'll sure. fire, I'm out. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking shit going on. So I'm not leaving the fucking crib, dude. I'm telling you, I, if not for the fact that it's completely inconvenient, I would love to live out, like, not necessarily out in the middle of nowhere, but close enough. I understand. Yeah. I, get I would like to weekly. be, like, 10, 15 minutes away. But, like, but out, out there enough to where, like, I don't really have a neighbor for, like, a quarter, quarter mile. Oh, okay. You know okay. what I mean? I like, it's spread out. But, also, but I mean, I'm not trying to build a fucking farm dog it'll just be me i'm probably not gonna cut the shit you know what i mean like i might i might get like pay a somebody I, I mean i might get like a i might have a nice square or circumference going on around my around my spot okay you know but well, you might like let the other overgrow and shit and, i mean pr- I, fuck i don't know dude you know I, I guess it just depends on how depressed i am at that point in time here's no. <laughs> all right in that case i will Debbie i Downer. will pay somebody hey dude you know th- these are the that's the yeah, that's you. the buy part of the polar so here's the thing um grass is kind of a, is almost a waste of space like it doesn't do anything it doesn't produce anything uh-huh <laughs> whenever i get like <laughs> my forever home Sorry, the dab got me. Um, my yard is going to be full of things that produce stuff. Um, yeah, like instead of grass, having, having like a garden instead of grass. Yeah, vegetables, yeah. herbs. Um, sorry. Things that actually do something, like things that actually have a purpose. Grass, it just keeps, it grows and you cut it, it grows and you cut it, it grows and you fucking cut it. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, really, but all, all you're really doing is... It's just taking, you know, flowers and food away from bees. So, like, really, yeah. the like having having a grass yard is arbitrary as it is. Like, I, I see, well, I see posts about it all the time. There's like, fuck having grass. Like, just have like a big ass garden, and and it's like one of those things where it's like it's literally like a whole garden, and where it's not garden, it's like rocks and mulch and shit. Yeah. And then they have like a walkway. Mm, Obviously, yeah. a walk with the walkway is not grass, so it's like yeah. it's just a whole. But they all, but they plant shit that bees and shit can feed on. Exactly, you can have grass. Your backyard can be fucking all grass. Yeah, if you wanted. I mean, mine might be because there's gonna be places where I want to do stuff like stand around and fucking a fire or fucking this or fucking that or maybe throw frisbee. There's gonna be grass in the back or yeah. something. But I think the front is gonna be 
you if know it, if it were me i think i would if i i would like to have enough grass that i could reasonably cut it with a uh, like a uh, a weed eater oh wow so like the size of this kitchen and living room yeah like like it would take yeah like i like with a weed eater i could i could fucking knock it out in 15 10 15 minutes okay well there's shotgun houses have, everywhere i don't even have to pull out a fucking lawnmower <laughs> Well, dude, my, I like I already hated doing, <coughs> excuse me, doing yard work as it is, and now I fucking especially hate it because uh, I spent three years, you know, cutting grass basically all the time for my ex, and okay. uh, fucking uh, she used she had a, an electric lawnmower that I had to fucking plug up. Bullshit. And not even with like I had to use two extension cords. Oh, that's lame. In the backyard, and and then like so you're cutting it. So you, and yeah, I know it's just an extra job having to fucking direct the cord, and and then she's like, oh, you should try not to, you know, try to save some of those flowers out there for the bees. So like, I, I'm supposed to be miss. Uh, I don't even, no, dude. Just yeah, I know where this is going. You know what and I mean? No, and uh, yeah. So like, I especially hate it now. Cause now, now I associate yard work with an electric lawnmower. Well, that's your own fault. That me personally, <laughs> Dude, okay. me personally, I don't, um, I don't mind cutting grass. It's like a little thing, you know. It's a whole little thing. It's not bad. I just did it it's yesterday. The, it's the white trash in you. It's, yeah, it's definitely the trash in me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you get out there, you get you a cold fucking Bud Light. Yeah, dude. And you put that some bitch right between your legs. You get on your John Deere rider, and you fucking get out there to it, boy. You are not using a fucking John Deere. <laughs> Let's be real. I have a bush mower and a warm yeah. bottle of water. John Deere's are expensive. <laughs> John are expensive. I mean, I believe that you have the beer. I don't, but I don't think nah. you're fucking sipping on wine and kugels. I think it's probably like a double deuce of like old English. I don't even fucking drink like that anymore. Oh, dude, I fucking love. I used to love Old English. Like, I legitimately You're gross. enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I actually, I enjoyed malt liquor. That's the Hispanic in you. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's the, yeah? Yeah, that's the Newberg. That's, the, that's, the, <laughs> yeah, that's also the trash in me. Yeah, not a fan of malt liquor kind of at fucking all. Yeah, I actually enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. And Colt 45 is, like, legit, like, some of the creme, creme de la creme. If I ever, I've drank a Mickey's couple Colts. Mickey's is the best. I've drank a couple Colts. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mickey's is the best. I've had a couple. You know who really likes Mickey's? Who's Fucking that? Ricky. Mm. Yeah. Ricky likes Mickey's. I used to I used to buy, like. The six packs of the little well, short yeah, fat but ones. I could never find, you know, you could never, rarely would you find them in more than a six pack. Yeah. Uh, but I'd get, like, two or three six packs, mm -hmm. and then we'd throw the lids, like, collect the lids. The and then cars. we were real fucked up. They had puzzles on the insides of them. Oh, I thought it was cards. No, like they were little, like little puzzles where oh, okay. where it was like you had to make words with objects, but you had to like guess what like what it was saying with with objects that sound like words. I got you. And uh, so yeah, we'd get real fucked up and then like try to solve like a big like a little like basket full of them. Hell yeah. Yeah, it was lit. Sounds uh, sounds like the equivalent of uh older white women drinking wine and doing puzzles or something of that nature yeah no no it's no, it like is. it's it's you just you know you just it's just a bunch of drunk people seeing if they can figure out puzzles no nah, i know what the fuck it it's is it's like a party game you That's fucking cool. cunt no nah, i'm just being a cunt you are a cunt yeah fuck it whenever i don't got nothing to say i just say fuck you i'm sorry you're fucking you're bringing a weird energy to me and i really don't know i don't know what to do with it you take it you ball it up and you send it back tenfold <sighs> Okay. Well, no, man. I'm just uh, I've been watching a lot of Tony Hinchcliffe. He's kind of a a meanie. He is a roast master. God, I am a jackass. You're not even a fucking grill master. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even qualified to work the You're grill. You're not even a thigh master. <laughs> 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 yeah. Let's be real. Yeah, I am a high master though. You are that. <laughs> I, I I can smoke a weird amount of pot. Yeah, a lot. I feel that. I do. Feel I know that. a lot of people can, but no, I, I have. Uh, I really can. We have a friend that that is 
she'll just she'll just sit there and fucking eat edibles all day and also smoke and do dabs and it's just it's like it never it's like it goes right fucking through her dude it's it's insanity i know her it yeah 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 it's insane yeah i mean i feel it she's not even a like she's a small person it's like it's like her it's like if her if the cannabinoids if that part of your brain needed a gallbladder and then had that gallbladder removed, you know, and, and just so whatever you eat just goes right through you. Okay. That's what the that's what the THC does. Yeah. Talk dirty to me, scientist. Oh, that was a terrible analogy. <laughs> yeah, no. that was a terrible analogy. I'm so yeah. sorry for that. That was the equivalent of half baked. Hey, finish mopping the rest of the shit up for me, scientist. Yeah, that was that was rough. He's a janitor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> janitor. Custodian, Dick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's all good. I got some banana bread right there. You want some banana bread? Actually, I really actually do, yeah. Fucking banana bread at work, dude? <laughs> Fucking banana. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, shit. You can have half of it, bro. Hell yeah, I'll take half of it. Just got it this morning. I don't, I, even want a, I don't even want a full half of it. I'll just take like a, like a, I'll take a little. You know what I thought? I thought, man, what would Ryan want today? I got some fucking banana right at I mean, you know, when I show up to work, I like some banana bread. Are we working? Because nobody's fucking paying anything. I mean, it's still <laughs> work. You know, it's uh, it's like internship. It is a job trying to get two people together. Yeah, and dude. Even, like, even getting the energy together. Like, right now, this is a low energy situation. We yeah. haven't even sparked anything up yet, you know? We're, we might even go get some food and come back at this bitch. You yeah, I, mean? I wouldn't remind doing a second one, you know, just to have more to work with. More to jerk with, most yeah. definitely. I'm down. Because we did that last time, and, and now I have, I can get, like, probably a whole other episode out of it. Well, until we're fucking professionals, we gotta do two-a-days, bro. This is trash. I you literally just ate, I literally it. just ate a, like, ate a chunk off of it. It's trash. I'm not, I don't, no, thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. Are you talking to the mic? Uh, thank you, but no thank you. This banana bread is trash. Hell yeah. That's, uh, that's Ryan on record, uh, saying that Marathon and Five Star... Your, uh, Your banana fucking bread. banana bread is garbage. So work on that but situation. But I appreciate the sentiment. Yep. Put my shit down, motherfucker. And I, I hope you enjoy that. I hope you enjoy get, getting that much closer to diabetes for no reason. Because you're not even getting a good taste out of it. I already fucked up the chocolate chip cookie. Well, I could, yeah. Cookies. Cookie and banana bread are different. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to fuck up a chocolate chip cookie. If you do. It's easy to fuck up some banana bread. Have There's no a, that that tasted zero banana. Whoa! I didn't even taste anything nutty in there. Have you ever had a bad chocolate chip cookie? Not for real. Not I mean, unless it was burnt. Yeah, and even then, it's still like crispy. Even then it's, yeah, even then, I mean, the as long crunchy. as it's not like black burnt. Yeah. I mean, if if it's just like a dark ass brown, I'll still. Have you ever had a bad any cookie? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I've had bad cookies before. Really? Honestly, some of the worst cookies I've had were no bakes. My mom makes those so fucking much and i've had them my whole life i don't fucking want to eat another one okay yeah i feel that sorry mom love you but I'm, I'm i'm over it every every fucking yeah. thanksgiving every fucking christmas for the whole goddamn rest of my fucking everything it's the easiest thing dude is that what you're telling me is that what i gotta do I See, gotta... I ha- but are they good though they are fucking fantastic I love everybody loves them. I love them. Yeah, my mom made no bakes and they hey, were always can we trash. Get, can we get a fucking macadamia nut in there sometimes? They always got to be this. Oh, she oh she makes them the exact same way every time. She doesn't try to like really fuck with the formula. I'm I'm not even hating on it. They're good, but I want something else. I'm yeah. not even gonna lie. Just it just like it's like you can even still make the the no bakes. Just switch it up. You want to know what she's gonna say to me? What she's gonna say to you? Bring your own fucking cookies, ah. dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say make your own fucking no bakes. <laughs> yeah. And then, hey, Jake Tubek, make your own fucking no bakes. And then she might cry, and then oh, I'll shit. say I'm sorry, and then we'll go ahead and say it right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> just be preemptive and just go ahead and say it ahead of time. Uh, I'm just on, fucking around. On the record, it's a, it's a comedy podcast. On the record, if you can't bust if you can't bust your family's balls, and what the fuck do you got going on? Your mom doesn't. Your mom doesn't have balls. <laughs> Hypothetical balls. <laughs> If, you, if I can't, if I can't bust your your metaphorical balls, if I can't, you know, oh, hi, hypothetical, yeah, that work. Metaphorical, that's all good. I mean, she does definitely does have metaphorical balls. Yeah, big ones. ACDC. I've got big balls. 
She's got big balls. Yeah, that woman's got balls. Yeah. She's got a fucking set on her, for sure. <laughs> All right, chill. <laughs> Pump the brake. What? I'm just saying. Like, she's don't say a, anything about my mother in set in the same fucking a, she's sense. A, instead of anything. I'm I don't give a fuck what a you're doing. She's a tough lady. I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, she's a tough lady. Yeah, she's a rough bitch. Or you can, like, I'm just saying, you, like, you can tell she's, she's very no-nonsense. Like, yeah. You know? I mean, she'll smack the shit out of somebody. I've seen it a couple times. I, I, and that's that's the thing. She, smacked, she reminds me very much of my aunt. Me a couple times like that. Yeah. Oh, I know your aunt. Yeah. My aunt. She's so definitely. My aunt has definitely mellowed out in her old age. The aunt that I know. Uh, no, you don't even really talk to that aunt. Which I don't know which aunt you're talking about. It's not the point. <laughs> okay. But anyway, uh, this this specific aunt uh, is, is similar to that. So. I see, I see that in your mom. That's what's up. Enough about the fucking no bake cookies that I will continue to eat for fucking thirty fucking more years. Well, or something like that. Like I, like I said, at least at least the no bake cookies that you were eating were good. Yeah. A- every no bake cookie my mom has ever made has been complete and utter trash. Ah, you hear that, mom? Complete You're better than trash. her already. Like, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Like, I don't want to go in too hard. No, get it, no, on, on, dude, dude, Hey, nobody's, nobody's gonna listen to this, bro. Come on, dude. My mom, my it, it fascinates me. My mom worked in 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 food for probably thirty plus years. Yeah, still can. not And Fuck she's me. not a great cook. She was a server though. No, no, no. She she was she was she managed for. She was a manager for probably two decades. Yeah, she doesn't have any it's managers. Well, she was the manager that did that would end up doing everything because oh, she could do everything. But okay, so she know. so like she was cooking, she was doing cooking, she was following recipes. Like, you know what I mean? Like when if you're it's, doing that much, if you're doing that much, and you're seeing that many recipes, like you should be. She should she should have been fucking. Can I, can I tell you what that is, bro? It up. That's that's no effort. That's just no like passion or effort or really. Well, she doesn't use like she doesn't really like switch up like her what she uses like the spices that she uses. Like she'll use the same. So like if she makes a pot of soup, I know it's gonna taste the exact same as every single pot of soup that she ever makes, and it's made me hate soup. And I and I told she'll, and she'll tell people she's like yeah yeah Ryan doesn't like soup. I'm just like no I just don't like your soup. Oh wow well, wow well, wow well. is she gonna hear this? I don't know. <laughs> probably not. Yeah probably not. She wouldn't even know how to. She wouldn't even know where to start. Uh, I don't even think she would know where to start on, on trying to find hey, it. Hey, get up on that microphone, man. You're really... I'm on it. No, you're not. No, he's not. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm too loud. You're not? I, well, because I'm going in the... I go into the red a lot. Oh, uh, maybe your mic is just better than mine. Yeah, I go into the red a lot, so... Uh, I feel like I have to be further away. No, I think you're fine. I got bass in my voice. Bass in your face. You know what I mean? Bass I got, in your I got, face. I got a manly voice. No, I mean, no, yeah. Right, oh, die. What you really want? Oh, oh, what you really want? D M X R I P. R I P D M X. <laughs> Earl. R I P Earl. R I P Earl. Uh, the funny thing is, I know a couple people that met him down in uh, Wynwood in Miami, like the art thing. They smoked a blunt with him, I think, but I think he was smoking crack or something. But they were smoking a blunt and they smoked it with him. It was cool. Have, have, have I ever told you, told you the story that was told to me by a member of the Louisville Rough Riders chapter? No, nah, about tell me. DMX. I think. I so. feel like I've maybe told it in a in an old episode. I think so. Tell me, give me a little short and skinny of it. Basically, DMX invited the whole chapter to the show for free. Okay. He's uh the dude said that they were in the green room. He said that the green that it was really weird because like. On it, like for his writer shit, like all he asked for was like original lays, and now and like great now and later's. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then uh, he said that he was just talking. He said at, at a certain point he was just thanking everybody for being there, blah blah blah, just like you know going going on doing his thing. And then he said he just stopped talking, looked at a dude, and it was a dude in a fur coat. And he goes, "Dude in the fur coat gotta go." <laughs> and he had this dude esc- he had this this dude in a fur coat es- escorted out he said he said that it wasn't triggered by anything he said he literally just stopped mid sentence and fucking had this dude in a fur coat escorted out hey man this motherfucker looks too much like Cameron get him the fuck out like, of here he was he lo- legit just said dude in the fur coat got hit verbatim he said dude in the fur coat got to go oh shit 
Maybe it was. And, uh, we it's, it's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite stories. It's so fucking funny. That's pretty funny, and that's from somebody directly that was there. Yeah, yeah. He he. It was a dude that was a member of the Louisville Rough Riders chapter. How'd you meet that guy? Uh, serving when I was serving. You meet, dude. You meet. You meet people and if i can work in restaurants you meet the was he wearing his like cut and then you said oh, oh yeah. rough riders oh yeah, dmx yeah yeah. yeah 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 and then it, you did you ask him hey have you ever met dmx well he was really he was really tight with uh the people that uh that worked in the o charlie's next door and then he was he was pretty tight like through just going between bars all the time he was really tight with one of our bartenders i got you uh so just like between him coming into the bar and then me seeing him over at o'charlie's bar you know you just get to you have conversations you befriend uh black men the rough riders <laughs> that's what happens how do you know that it, how, why do you assume come on dude he could have been uh he could have been hispanic Come on, I'm not dude. even saying that he was gonna be that he was necessarily white. I see that was it would probably be less of a of a likely. You think story. I'm an idiot? You think some dude that's backstage with DMX is just some nerdy white dude? I'm not even saying nerdy, but like just come on, dude. The dude in the I fur would. coat was probably white. I, <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt that. <laughs> I do too. Yeah, no, dude. yeah, this, yeah. The guy, the guy was black. Yeah, come on, dude. Uh, uh, no fucking shit. He was black Einstein. Yeah, he was the man. Sorry. He was the man because uh, hey, he gotta, was very uh, he was very generous with his money. I only do this 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 thing because I need to have a mental picture of what or who I'm talking about. So that's the only reason why your boy fucking brings everything. He right basically up. he looked like he looks like a little tretch. Oh real oh uh, bald head. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks like a little tretch. <laughs> <laughs> was he about the same size? I guess. Uh, Except probably not probably swole. probably. probably little, Probably not. A, probably like not a swole, probably a little bit. He looked like Tretch. If you guys didn't know, Tretch is uh, one of two guys from Naughty by Nature. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, he he is a dude that I would one hundred percent not fuck with, but he was also one of the nicest people you'll ever fucking meet in your life. He was he was just a super super chill dude. People of like that that, yeah, they're he dope. Was they're laid, but he was laid back. He knew how to fucking take a joke. They just don't deal with no bullshit. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Not but that. like you could tell that like if. If it came down to it, a few words would be exchanged before he s- smacked the shit out of somebody. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He ain't afraid to pop up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He wouldn't even wait. He he, he, he would. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw I saw a thing on fucking Facebook earlier that said, let's normalize smacking the shit out of somebody mid-sentence when they're disrespecting you. Oh, yeah. And I feel like he'd be, he'd be, he would be like that. Like, you wouldn't even get all of the, all of the disrespect out before he smacked the rest of it out of your fucking mouth. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm dude. I'm I'm about it. Watch what it you hard. say, motherfuckers. Those are the kind of people I like, dude. I like. Uh, but you're not gonna catch me out in public doing dumb shit. So. Well, no, I mean not anymore. No, not uh, anymore. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm pretty respectful because I know how quick things can turn very fucking ugly. I've seen it. I mean, you know, there was there was a time in my life where you know I I, I was a lot more reactive than I am now. We'll say uh, that I was a little more. Uh, a little more likely to start a confrontation. Aggro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had, I, had a, I, had, I was an angry fucking. I was an angry dude. When you know. I hate the one eighty, you dude. But yeah, go for it. I was at the fucking post office on Seventh, uh, Seventh Street downtown. Oh, this is a I true one eighty. Oh, dude, there was, this lady was screaming at the attendant. Ooh, that's rough. Oh, dude, you fucking bitch, Ooh. fucking bitch, Ooh. fucking bitch, over and over. Ooh. And uh, because she, they apparently they had sent the um some shit to the wrong address, and uh-huh. I think her card was in there and a bill that she needed or something, and she was in the corner on the phone the whole time I was in there, five to eight, nine, ten minutes. Yeah. And she was talking really loud on the phone, like sure, you know, just super loud. But like talking about them, like they weren't in the room. That and just talking loud about her own shit. That's my favorite. These dumb motherfuckers in yeah, here. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And I was like, oh, this is funny. And uh, yeah, and then I think the lady asked, hey, ma'am, uh, can you please like leave or something? Ooh, like that? that's. What? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, dude, it started this whole thing. Yeah. I, I was like, oh, this is fucking good, bro. I wish I had a GoPro for right. shit like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit's fucking gold. Gold. I remember one time. Um, that's not really no. Never mind. I'm like, I'm I'm only not gonna tell the story because it's just not a very funny story. It's 
it's it's it, it's a story that like make, it'll irritate you. Okay, well then I don't want to be irritated. Yeah, I don't want you, I don't want to irritate. <laughs> the fuck, what the, the, this guy? <laughs> well, it just when you said that somebody was yelling at an at an attendant, it just reminded me of the story. <clears throat> Come on, out with it real quick. It was basically face. it was basically Keep some everybody. lady some lady telling a man not from here that he need to learn how to speak English. Oh god, the, yeah, one of those. Yeah. It just it, that's the it, like as soon as you said screaming at the attendant at, at that memory immediately popped up. But in my he head. spoke English. It was just a, maybe a little broken or it he had a, a strong broken. accent. Yeah, 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 but he uh I, I, those fucking people, dude. Yeah. Are so fucking ignorant. It, like it, it was it pe- was rough to experience. People speak other languages, you fucking idiot. Yeah, it was rough to experience. Doesn't make them anything like less or fucking even that much different. God damn. The thing is, is like I I honestly I, <clears throat> I think about it. I think about it over fairly and over often. again. Yeah, <laughs> I think about it fairly often, and I I'm it bothers me that I didn't say anything. Oh, I've been there. But I knew that if I did... It would be a whole thing. You'd be dragged into it. No, like, dog, I would have fucking blown her goddamn cat back, dog. Like, I would have been... I'm not saying that I'm going to fight an old lady, but I would have fucking ripped her up. Yeah. <clears throat> and just, it would that it would that would have been a whole thing because I would have I let's just say I would have been calling this lady out of her fucking name. We'll put it that way. Yeah, no shit. Like, she was... Yeah, like, yeah, it's not the point. Stupid mm-hmm. bitches ain't gonna, yeah. especially of that nature. They're not even gonna learn. Did you just see me a second ago though? Blast myself in the eye with smoke. Yeah, I did. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Don't smoke cigarettes. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to quit. I, re- I like. I hate the like when. Uh, I like to say I'm trying to quit, but not. <laughs> right. Every, well, I mean that's that's every smoker ever. Pretty much. One day I plan to quit. How about that? Like, you're not a real smoker if you haven't tried to quit at least twice. I kind of have, but kind of not. You know? I've always made, it, like, little things. Like, ah, oh, I just don't give a fuck. I think the longest, I think the longest I've quit, I started smoking, I think, when I was, like, I don't know, 14 or 15. Yeah, I was about I'm 16, I'm something like that. 33 now. <laughs> I've been smoking a minute. It's gross. Yeah. I need um, to quit. I think the longest I've quit in that time was was like three months and that was while uh, I was recuperating after my accident and I couldn't I couldn't smoke anything of any kind because of my jaw good and uh that was the longest I why'd you for. start again though my ex uh, my ex was a smoker and the thing about it is that she she would like bring it up all the time about how she was sorry about that and I was like I was like the thing about it is is if it if I didn't do it with you it would have happened it would have happened with somebody else that I know that smokes I mean you, know, uh, you if just I were, asked if I was, her for one? No. I mean, I was just like, yeah, 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 let me get one of those. Yeah, I asked. Yeah. But she felt bad for doing it in front of me, knowing that, like, I hadn't, that I had quit, that I had yeah. to quit, so, like, I didn't really want to pick it back up. That's one of the reasons why, because here, somebody that lives here smokes, and, you know, whatever, yada, yada. <laughs> but, I, yeah. I completely missed that. No, somebody here that smokes. If I wanted to quit, if, even if oh, if, yeah, if yeah, I got yeah, it too yeah. bad, I'd be like, hey, man, let me get a cigarette, in-house. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. If I hadn't, so yeah, like I said, I, I would have caved around somebody else. Yeah, but I got this little Mr. Fog thing. You keep you keep talking about that fucking thing. Well, earlier today, I left my cigarettes here when I went and ran an errand and just had this, so. I mean, it, it probably... Uh, satisfied the oral fixation i'm sure that's about it i guess yeah and that's really honestly if i'm if i'm busy and i say if i'm busy and i have like gum yeah i won't think about it i won't think about smoking yeah i won't think about smoking i won't think about eating yeah like i you know i because i especially if it's something that i i have to do things that keep me engaged feel that like it, it, if it's a if it's like a hobby or anything like that, it has to be something that I'm super interested in. Because if I'm not, if I lose interest in it at all, like it just becomes something that I tried once. Yeah, exactly. I I dive into a lot of things. Like I dive into like a whole lot of things, and like sometimes I get really super obsessed. Like I did tie dye for a long time. I'll yeah. do this and do that, and then uh, I don't know. I you know, but right now I'm on something that. Uh, I really enjoy streaming, and I'm gonna keep doing it. Yeah, I don't. I just keep investing more money into it. I don't really plan on stopping, but I do indulge in a lot of shit and dibble, dibble, dabble, whatever. 
I mean, I feel like the streaming thing is different because, I mean, you are doing that, but you're also getting, you're actually, it's a revenue stream for you. So yeah, like, it, not it, a lot, it, but it would all, make, but, but I mean, but it would make sense that like what money you make from that, you would want to put back into it. That's how you keep, that's how you make more money. Yeah. That is, that is one of those like spend money to make money situations for sure. hundred percent. Like at the green screen, you know, yeah, you're it's going like, to make your, shit. especially if it goes to your production, it's going to make your production look better. It's going to make your shit sound better. Like hundred percent. I had to make yeah. that PS4 to PC jump, which I fucking love. Yeah. Mm. You know how much I like this mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Fucking. I could just turn around and just play games right now and just say, fuck you. Yeah. No, yeah. very. Yeah, you absolutely could, and I believe that. I think I will actually. Peace. N- please don't. <laughs> please don't. It, it it's still it's still early. It's still early enough in the day. I think we could pump out another one. Yeah, no shit, dick face. Yeah, yeah. I think we could pump out another one. Well, let's go ahead and end this one because uh, we're about minute five or hour five. Hour yeah. Five minutes. Yeah. Um. So let's go ahead and wrap it up. Yo, if you want to know where the fuck to find me, man, it's Jake Two Baked TV on all things like. Twitter, Instagram, and especially Twitch if you want to come hang out and vibe out in the fucking green room with your boy. And uh, I use most of all my social media stuff. I use uh, my other podcast. Uh, so it's at Hyperbolic Pod on everything on Twitter, on Instagram. Um, uh, I have a personal page on Instagram as well. It's at Greasy Peasy, Greasy with a Z, P E E Z Y. And, uh, you know, if you're cool, I'll I'll uh, allow the follow and I'll follow you back. Um, oh yeah, and hyperbolic hyperbolic podcast on YouTube. <laughs> Excuse me, I haven't posted mm-hmm. much content because I've been kind of putting, uh, m- I guess more of my mental energy into this. And now is that hyperbolic podcast underscore burp? Yes, <laughs> yes, it's actually a dot burp, <laughs> dot burp slash. Uh, <laughs> slash yeah <laughs> slash fart uh but yeah anyway just so yeah go go you know. but yeah go follow me on youtube there um i'll hopefully pick that back up at some point yeah just but. remember to stay lifted we don't fight the funk no we do not uh-uh bitch <laughs> <laughs>